Now let's talk about understanding limit expressions. What I mean by this is, well, if you see an expression like limit as h goes to 0, f of x plus h minus f of x over h, you right away think of the derivative. And if you were to see the same limit but written slightly differently, you should understand that both things have the same exact meaning. So let's try to develop this ability to understand those limits. So first, suppose we know that limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus, well, let's say f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 divided by h is equal to 3. So that means that some function, its derivative at 2 is equal to 3. Now what happens if I modify this, this limit? Suppose now I have limit as h goes to 0, f of 2 plus, plus 4h minus f of 2 divided by h. What happens now? Well, what is the above limit saying? The above limit is saying if you take 2 and add to it a value that melts to 0, and then you divide by the same value that melts to 0 at exactly the same rate, you will get 3. Now here we have 4 times h. So this value melts to 0, but it melts to 0 four times slower than the denominator. So by wishful thinking, we would have liked to see here a 4, exactly the same expression. So if we had a 4 here, that would have been 3. Since we don't have 4, we must multiply by 4 to compensate this. And therefore, we must multiply 3 by 4 and then the answer is 12. Let's see concrete examples of this. Suppose that we want to calculate limit as h goes to 0 of sine h divided by h. We remember that this limit is just simply the derivative of sine x when x is equal to 0. And that is just cosine x, where x is equal to 0, which is 1. That means that if h is very small, sine of h over h is going to be 1. That means that sine of h is essentially the same as 1. So let's consider this example. What happens if I now take limit where x goes to 0 of sine 3x over x? So. What we know is that if this angle goes to 0 at exactly the same rate as the denominator, we get 1. But the rate is not quite the same. To adjust it, multiply by 3. And to compensate, you multiply the denominator by 3. You now have to multiply the entire expression by 3 to have cancellation. So now the answer is simply 3 times 1. Because this 
is essentially the same as 1. Whenever we have sine of something going to 0 divided by the same something, the answer is 1. Three. Let's consider limit as x goes to 0 of sine of 4x divided by sine of 6x. Now, the quickest way to solve this problem is to recognize that sine of 4x, when x is very small, is very much like very much like 4x. So this expression is almost the same as 4x. Denominator expression is almost the same as 6x. So therefore, this is the limit as x goes to 0 of 4x over 6x, which is 4 over 6, which is 2 thirds. Example four. Let's calculate limit as x goes to zero of cosine x minus one divided by sine x. This depends on our ability to recognize that this is limit as x goes to 0. Cosine of x minus 1 looks like the beginning of the derivative of, of cosine. So we would have liked to see here cosine x minus 1 over x. Now we have here x over sine x to cancel out. Now this limit we know is 0 times this limit, which is just 1. 